Hi, my name is Jess. Welcome or welcome back to Books Past Bedtime. Today we are going to be going to some little free libraries, dropping off some books, picking up some books, checking out the selection. But before we go, I wanted to give you a quick insight of the books that I'm going to be dropping off. So this is going to be a little mini unhaul at the beginning of this video. Also, I would like to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am wearing fake freckles. Um, <laughs> just let me live, okay? Just let me live my life. Don't worry about it. So let's just get right into it. I'm not going to give huge, like, long summaries of these books, but most of them I didn't like anyway, so... Alright, so I still own quite a few books that I featured in my Worst Books of 2020 video, so those are definitely getting unhauled, and hopefully they will go to a better home with people who will actually enjoy them. So the first of those is the Selection series by Kira Cass. I was not a huge fan of this YA dystopian series. I read very early 2010s for me and it just was not it. I thought it was kind of annoying and filled with plot holes and I wasn't here with the drama. So it's getting unhauled. Next I have Always Never Yours by Emily Wimberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. This is a YA contemporary romance and it involved cheating so I was not a huge fan so it is also getting unhauled. I also have my absolute worst book of 2020, Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is an adult contemporary romance that also involves cheating and weird scenes. It's like supposed to be a second chance romance and I did not want there to be any romance because I hated the main love interest. So this one's getting unhauled. I'm also unhauling Malice Forethought by Frances Ills. This is a little book that I read for my Reading the Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson reading vlog and I hated it so I'm unhauling it. It is a pretty book though so many might like it and it's little. I am also unhauling Royals by Rachel Hawkins. That's some ugly stickers on there. And I actually really love this book, but I bought this hardcover version at Ollie's, forgetting I had the paperback version. And the paperback version is way cuter. It's like the new updated Her Royal Highness one. So I'm unhauling this. This is a YA contemporary romance where this girl's sister is marrying like the Prince of Wales or something. And so she goes to Wales to like meet the rest of his royal family. And she like falls in love with one of their friends. It's really cute. I loved it so much. This is really cute. I have a really recommend. So hopefully somebody will pick this up in the little free library and find a winner because I do love this book but I just don't need two of them. I will also be unhauling the Winner's Curse trilogy. This is a trilogy like a YA fantasy trilogy and it's got some romance in it. It just wasn't really my thing. I read them all back in the day and I don't see myself rereading them so I'm just gonna go ahead and unhaul them because they take up quite a bit of space on my shelf. I'm also going to be unhauling Nothing Happened by Molly Booth. I liked this book fine. It was just kind of okay. I read it when I read my lowest rated books on my Goodreads shelf video and it's another YA contemporary little romance kind of deal. It's marketed as a sad romance I believe and it's cute but it wasn't like the best. I went hauling this one but hopefully somebody else will like it more than I did. I'm also going to be unhauling There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Um, this is Stephanie Perkins foray into writing horror. This is very much reminiscent of like slasher films like Scream and that kind of deal. It was a fun read. I thought it was fine when I read it but I'm not going to reread it and I don't really have any interest in like continuing the series or anything so I'm going to go ahead and unhaul it even though it is a pretty book but I'm like maybe I shouldn't unhaul it. <laughs> I'm so toxic. I'm also going to be on hauling The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins because this book sucks ass and I don't want it on my shelf anymore. I might give it to a friend though. My friend might want to read it. I don't I am also going to be on hauling Every Day by David Levithan. I really did love this book when I was in high school but um I've kind of grown to hate it for some reason and I just don't want to look at it anymore and I don't like it very much. It's like this weird YA speculative kind of book where this character wakes up every day in a new body and has to learn how to survive where they meet this girl and they fall in love with her and are trying to figure out how they can be with her while living in this cursed being. I'm, I don't know. It's kind of weird when I'm talking about it. I also will be unhauling The Careful Undressing of Love by Corianne Haydu. This is a YA magical realism about these characters who are cursed and that every boy they fall in love with will eventually die. This is a very beautiful book but unfortunately it was not it for me and I hated it. <laughs> I'm also going to be unhauling Little Rex by Meredith Miller. Could not tell you what this book is about. I think it's a YA contemporary or YA magical realism. I did read it. Don't remember a single second of it. I'm also going to be unhauling Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I'm not going to reread this book and I lost the dust jacket so I have no reason to keep it because I'm going to put it in the little free library and hopefully somebody else will love it. I thought it was pretty decent. I didn't love it or anything so she's going goodbye. And finally, I'm going to be dropping off The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. It's a fine book. It's a YA contemporary romance. I believe it's sapphic now that I'm thinking about it, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. It was fine. Um, I'm definitely not going to reread it though. I didn't think it was that great. 
Becky Albertalli, ever since Simon, has been very, like, miss for me, which makes me very sad. But I'm really excited for our new book, and hopefully that one will be better. But this one, not it for me, so she's getting a haul. So these are all the books that I'm going to be dropping off at my little free libraries. And yeah, let's just hit the road. Hello, we have arrived at our first little free library. This is my friend Justin. Justin, do you like to read? Yeah. Did you ever read that book that I gave you, Wolf by Wolf? No. Okay. <laughs> this is my friend Nick. Hey guys. Nick recommended me Where the Carl Dad Sang, which is my favorite book of 2020. Let's go. Do you like to read, Nick? I love to read. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, we're going to go see what's in the little free libraries. And yeah. This is the Little Free Library Book Crawl, brought to you by Jess. And 20 minute drive. <laughs> it's 176 Leave miles away. We're gonna listen to Champagne Problems again though. It's 176 that's miles. That's what I wanted away. us to film. That's, that's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania Disclaimer I did not actually get the four play book. I did read a couple passages. Justin, just start straight. Navigating. We're starting straight. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Watching Nick open a present that Justin got him. Nick, yesterday asked me how intimate of a present it was. Oh my god! Thanks, Justin. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Not very intimate. It's a hat. <laughs> it's an Ivy Park hat. Beyonce. This is not right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she hit a curb. She's trying to drive in the other lane too. <laughs> She's fucking bright. Jess, can I borrow this when you're done? Sure. Go straight. Time flies. We see if the mud 
on your jaw down Cause now I'm missing your smile Give me Right here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I love you both. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know that was going to be recorded, but that's fucking awesome. <laughs> We just went to our last little free library and now we're gonna do a haul. Justin didn't get anything, but Nick and I did. So the, the last one I found Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which is insane that that was in a little free library. I don't know what it's about. I think it's dark academia or fantasy or something, but it's pretty. So I also found The Worst Best Man by Mia Sousa. Mia Sousa. And this is a romance of some sort, I would assume. Okay. All right. <laughs> yep. I also found Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. This is an adult literary fiction type of book, I believe. Not sure what this one is about either. We're getting very good descriptions today. And then I also found The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which my friend Kristen will be very happy about because she is trying to convert everybody into being a Kristen Hanna stan. This is an historical fiction World War II novel about two sisters, I believe. Very excited to read this one. Now Nick is going to show you what he got. I found The Help um, and I'm super excited because I've always wanted to like actually read this book and not just watch the movie so i'm super pumped and i've always wanted a copy for my own little library and then fun fact all of us in this car are international affairs majors that went to different universities fun but... fact really really sad fact yeah yeah because we're all not using it um but i found in the graveyard of empires america's war in afghanistan because i'm super into international affairs literature beijing welcomes you which i'm pretty sure is just all about beijing at a certain time period so we'll find out but again international affairs li literature so fun fact fun well those were my my little free libraries around my town. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!